Hey guys, um, you've given us a lot of questions, thanks for those, and we'll try and uh, give you some answers. First up we've got Dean Hammond to us, who's the most superstitious? Uh, I think it's a bit of a tricky one, you know, I don't think many of us are overly superstitious, but we definitely you know, have, have some pretty good routines that, that we like to go through uh, on race day. Stephen Cedillo, uh, would you rather have free Wi-Fi wherever you go or free coffee? <laughs> uh, I'm not quite sure to be honest, uh, mate, but uh, yeah, both are, both are pretty handy, but yeah, probably, probably free coffee. Uh, do you have nicknames for each other? Uh, yep, yep, we've all got nicknames on the boat and um, yeah, most of them are on the back of our helmets. Uh, I'm sure you'll all see them, see them at some stage and uh, it's definitely, uh, yeah, most of us operate with a nickname. Uh, from Oliver, what keeps you going when, it feel, when you feel like giving up? Uh, for ourselves, you know, there's, there's so many people in this team that are they're working super hard towards that same goal and you know, we've got so much support from back home that you know, we really appreciate. And you know, like every journey, you, you do have tough times and you do have your you know, times that everything is going well and uh, it's all about just charging on through that and you know, making sure you yeah, putting your best foot forward when it comes to racing. Uh, from Chris Taylor, what music do you, do you guys listen to before racing? Um, yeah, for myself, I don't really listen to that much uh, music before before I get into the racing in the day, and you know, more just like you know, chilling out and you know, for, for more quiet time. But yeah, fair few of the boys definitely uh, you know get into a fair bit of music. Uh, how do you guys make the jump from amateur to professional sailing? And myself and a few of the other guys in the team started off in the Olympic uh, arena and. You know, it's kind of, yeah, a bit of a blurred line there when you do cross from the kind of amateur to, to professional and you know, it's something that, yeah, we've definitely been campaigning like that for a long time as, I suppose, professionals, but, uh, but then it's just getting to a high enough level to, you know, get into one of these teams and uh, be able to, you know, be good enough to, to race one of these boats. Uh, in your spare time, if you get an hour to, or two to yourself, do you read a book, play a game, go sightseeing? Good luck from Denmark. From uh, Jesper. Yeah, I quite enjoy sleeping. Uh, get a fair bit of, not a lot of free time to go sleeping now, but yeah, if I've got a bit of free time. Really enjoy, you know, going for a look around, either getting out here for a dive or, you know, a bit of sightseeing, but also, you know, just watching a movie or, or something like that. Well, if that's all your questions, uh, thank you very much for them, guys, and you know, hopefully you enjoyed the answers, and we'll see you at the America's Cup.